Hello, in this video we're going to derive a production function from a total cost function and we're going to do this by help of Shepard's Lemma. So let's derive the firm's production function from its total cost function. So we're going to have a firm that has a total cost function given by the following where W is the wage, R is the rental rate of capital, and Q is the quantity of output. Shepard's Lemma tells us that if we take the partial derivative of the cost function with respect to the input prices, we'll derive the firm's conditional input demand functions. So I'm going to take two partial derivatives of the cost function, one with respect to the wage, the other with respect to R, the rental rate of capital. So the first result here is the conditional input demand for labor, or some would call it the long-run conditional input demand for labor. So taking the partial derivative of cost with respect to the wage, we get the following. So we got W raised to the one-half power over here, so that's where the one-half is coming down here. The two is still here. Uh, then we have W raised to the one-half power because of the derivative. Then we have to subtract the one from it in the exponent. And nothing interesting happens over here with the R and Q terms. Simplifying, the 1 half and 2 cancel, and then W uh, to the minus 1 half just moves into the denominator. So W to the minus 1 half power moves into the denominator. Doing a similar thing to get the conditional input demand for capital, taking a partial derivative of the cost equation with respect to R. Again, R is raised to the 1 half power, so bringing that down. Then we're going to take r raised to the 1 half power, we're going to subtract 1. That will bring r back into the denominator. Rewriting those results once again. And for simplification, this will simplify the math a little bit. Let's let v equal the wage divided by the rental rate of capital. So I'm going to substitute that back, this, this V back into our, our input demand function. So over here we got K and we see W divided by R. So since V is W divided by R, I'm just going to plug that in there. And then for L we got R divided by W. So that's just a reciprocal of V. So for our input labor demand, now we have Q divided by V. So the next step is we're going to take our labor uh, conditional input demand for labor and I want to solve it for V. So multiplying both sides by the square root of V we have something like this. Then dividing both sides through by L we get our next step. To get rid of V raised to the one-half power we need to square both sides. So we'll just get Q divided by L squared. The next step is we're going to substitute this result back into our conditional input demand function for capital. So here's capital. And what is V? Well, V now we're going to write as Q divided by L squared. So I make that substitution in parentheses over here. And now I'm going to simplify. So we got Q to the 1 half times Q to the 1 half. That's just Q. L squared raised to the one-half power is just L. The final step is just to solve this equation for Q and that leads us to the firm's production function. Uh, Q equals K times L. So that's how you go from a cost function to a production function uh, with help of Shepard's Lemma. I hope you found this video helpful.